Hello, my good people. Troy Devlin here. Thank you so much for watching. So in this video, we're going to talk about three snacks for fat loss. And the reason I thought I would share it is because it'll help you out a lot. If you follow these tips, if you're trying to lose some body fat, if you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, then um, I would invite you to reconsider how you think about snacking. Now, some people like to eliminate snacks altogether, right? Snacks, but really it's just a word. It's just a concept. Maybe, you know, maybe I, I, I think of dinner as snacking sometimes like, oh, I, I would like to get some snacks. In other words, food. Um, okay, so these three, these snacks are high in fat. Okay, and what I'm going to ask you to consider is maybe replacing some of the carbohydrate type snacks with, uh, with these three fatty snacks. And you may see some improvements in your body composition as a, re as a result of doing so. And um, what I find is that when I replace uh, having certain snacks that, that I may typically have like a piece of fruit or some other like high carbohydrate thing, when I don't do that, and I have these three things um, that I'm gonna share with you, what I find is that it helps to reduce cravings. If I have a piece of fruit, a little while later, I want more fruit or something else that's sweet. And, um, and I also feel like I can, I can feel energy fluctuations. I feel like when I have the fruit, my, my body temperature increases, and then I feel like over time, there's a, there's a burnout effect. And, um, and it's not like a slow, sustainable burn like these fats are. So, are you ready? There's three of them. The first one I'll share. Again, when you think about snacking, I'm gonna grab a snack, you know, because I'm hungry. Consider raw almonds. Okay, raw almonds. Now, what I find about the raw almonds to be very beneficial in snacking is that I can stop eating them because I don't know if you've ever had other snack foods where it's very difficult because of the texture of the snack and because of it's probably salty and because it's it's sweet and the umami and everything else okay whatever it is chips or cheese doodles or you know popcorn or whatever um it's hard to stop eating that kind of stuff so once you start it's like the floodgates are open and it's too late i for me a few almonds i eat them and that pretty much said you know i'm I, you, if i'm hungry i'll eat the almonds but uh it, you know, it's a lot of chewing. It's kind of a bland food. And um, I can stop eating these. And that's the point of this, right? Sometimes, you know, we, we have a snack and we eat the whole bag of chips, whatever. That's going to hold us back, guys. So consider raw almonds as a snack. Next, cheese. Okay, cheese. Now, I would recommend like the brick the brick cheese, the closest to real food cheese that you can get. The more processed it is, the that's not what I'm talking about. Um, you want whole food cheese. Now, again, some people, they can't have the almonds because they can't have nuts. Some people can't do the cheese because they absolutely can't have dairy. But you may be surprised. There's many people that can tolerate a good cheese. Um, and those people, when they have sort of cheap like um, milk and um, yogurt products or ice cream or stuff like that. They, uh, they feel like they, they sometimes have uh, GI issues. But cheese is a great snack. And again, it's a slow, steady burn. So remember, think raw almonds because you can stop eating them. Your mouth is going to get tired. And cheese because it's a slow, steady burn. Good protein, good fat. And um, it's very nutrient dense, high in calories. You don't want to eat the whole brick, but a few slices of the cheese, and um, it's pretty filling. Your body, your body uh, can perceive those calories. I believe. To me, I have a few slices of cheese, and I'm able to stop. Finally, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Now this is a hundred percent. It comes in various percentages and I would say try to stay above 70 try to stay above 70 percent 
of the active. It's cacao. I'm, I probably am pronouncing it wrong. But um, you want to get the dark chocolate. And this right here is 100%. It's very high in fat, but it's very low in sugar. And the interesting thing about the very high uh, percentage dark chocolate is that it's a very intense flavor. So you can have a few squares of this stuff and, um, and that intense flavor, it stays with you. So it, you, basically, it, again, it's, it's, uh, you don't have to eat the whole bar. You could probably eat half a bar and be satisfied because the flavor is so intense. And um, since the product is low in sugar, it helps to combat the cravings that we can sometimes uh, fall victim to when we have high sugar, high carbohydrate snacks. So I would invite you to explore the idea of getting away from having fruit as a snack, as a concept, right? Fruit should be more, um, should be more of an intentional treat. Fruit is nature's candy and um, it's very powerful. It's great for your health. And I'm not here telling anyone to starve themselves. I'm not here telling anyone to restrict anything. This is all about mindful consumption of our nutrients to promote an environment where we're able to reach our goals. And if it's lose weight or lose body fat, don't snack on carbohydrates. Okay, we'll talk about some other ways that you can mindfully incorporate carbohydrates in some other videos, but what we, would, what we would, would invite you to do now is to maybe think about not snacking on carbohydrates. Get some raw almonds, get some real cheese, and maybe even try some dark chocolate as a pro tip if you want to mix it up a little bit and get really fancy. Guys, if you found this video helpful, I would ask that you like it, you subscribe, uh, send me some comments, let me know what you think, and um, I thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.